Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the CAT B100 phone. Now, unlike a lot of the phones we unbox here at Clove, uh, this is a relatively featureless phone. And I don't mean that with any uh, disrespect to it. It just doesn't have the same features you would expect of a high-end smartphone. But what it does have are a load of features to make it rugged and practical for someone who works in harsh environments, maybe a builder um, or a tradesman, where your phone is perhaps prone to damage and the need for higher-end features um, are less demanded than perhaps ruggedness. So here is the retail packaging. Fairly basic sort of box. We've got the phone itself, which we'll come back to in just a moment. Let's see what else you get included. So first of all, you get a set of in-ear headphones with a clip for your clothing, the inline microphone, and it's a 3.5 millimeter jack there. So you can take hands-free uh, calls or listen to any music or media through these. You then get provided with a three pin UK mains adapter. So on the back of the mains adapter is a USB port into which you'll connect the provided USB cable. So three pin there for connecting to power. You've then got the USB cable, so it's a full USB connection on one end and a micro USB connection on the other. So one end goes into the mains adapter, one end goes into the phone and you can connect the phone to the computer for charging as well. So you don't have to use the mains power adapter. You then have a rather small battery here. The capacity is 1,150 milliamp hours, but because the device has a small screen, uh, this should last you for a couple of days, I would say. And then lastly, one of the things I really like about CAT products is look at this quick start guide manual. It's actually the shape of the phone. I think it's really funky, a little bit interesting and makes something that is normally not too exciting a little bit more interesting. So if we bring back the phone itself then, take it out of the packaging. So instantly you'll see that it's a candy bar style device with the screen and the numeric keypad here. Now more and more you're seeing full touchscreen devices this one isn't that. You'll also see that it's quite a chunky unit. It's not skinny by any means, but that's because this device uh, has IP67 uh, rating. So it means it can be immersed in water for uh, 30 minutes or so, a depth of about a meter, which will mean uh, this is going to live up to most of the things that you know you could throw at it if it's on a building site you can drop it in puddles it's also been uh, drop tested so it can uh, withstand falls of 1.8 meters or six feet to uh, concrete and things like that it'll actually survive that so it's kind of military grade it's the 810g uh, protection on this device so taking a look on the front here, we've got the 2.2 inch QVGA TFT display. So it's not touchscreen or anything like that. We got the numeric keypad with uh, the power button here, the call buttons and menu keys. And then we've got a four way uh, key or directional keypad here. On the bottom, nothing to speak of, just this uh, plastic here. On the side, we've got the screws for the frame of the device, and then we've got a cover over the micro USB port. The actual uh, brush sort of silver looks quite nice, and we've got the micro USB port there for charging. These covers have got a good amount of flex in them. They're not going to break easily, which is nice to see, and the covers are essential to retain the IP rating. On the top of the device, we have the headphone jack just here, sort of fairly hidden. You open the cover from the front just here, there's a little recess, and there you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack just there. On the right side, we've got uh, the volume up and down keys and the programmable key just here. Again, we've got this 
rugged sort of design as well. Coming round to the back, it gets a lot more interesting here, a lot more texture, make it more grippy. We've got the big cat logo embossed here. We've got the rear facing camera, and that's three megapixels. We've got uh, an LED flash and a uh, light there. We've got the loudspeaker as well. And then we've got these screws, which uh, allow us access to the battery compartment. Now you do have to have the screws in place to secure it and then we can reveal the compartment here where the battery sits in. There's a micro SD memory card slot and a SIM card slot as well. So you pop those two things in there. So if we just pop the battery in like that, that sits tightly in there. We put the cover back on and what you really need to do is do these screws back up. We're just gonna power this device on for you to see. Now it's using a proprietary OS and you can see or hear should I say the uh, nice sound effects there there's definitely a uh, builder theme to this with some of the ringtones and stuff you actually get on here so if we bring you in a little bit and try and take a look around the software I'm not going to go through everything but just to give you uh, an idea so you've got your navigational keys here you go into the menu and you've got a variety of options so from your file manager to your phone book to fun and games to multimedia to messages call center an organizer all your settings your user profiles so general silent things like that that you're probably used to you have got a web browser on here because this is 3g enabled it's not the ideal device for web browsing but you can do it if you want other services you've got the camera there as well let's just jump into the camera quickly so sort of standard affair press the center button to take the picture and back out you've got settings here so if we press that we can go and deal with the balance we can switch to the photo album or to the video recorder we've got the capture mode so you can take continuous shots so there's a few features here in the camera to try and make it a little bit uh, more useful to you, you can turn the uh, flash on or off you've got red eye reduction there as well whether there's face detection whether there's a self timer uh, as well so a few options white balance different effects so for what some would class as a you know feature phone rather than a smartphone there's quite a lot here to uh, sort of get you going even in the the camera let's come back out and we'll take a look at the messaging uh, it's probably because I haven't got a sim card inserted here but um, we have tried that You've got your phone book where you can type in, you know, a contact or add one. You've got all your options for different groups and your various phone book settings. So a few fun and games on here. Uh, Google Maps for navigation, uh, Java settings so you can have Java games on here. You've got file manager so you can see how much memory. There's not much on here, but it, then it doesn't use up that much memory and you've got the micro SD slot for things like your photos which would be uh, obviously more useful to you you can go into your call center and see your history and call settings you've got an organizer calendar tasks alarm a world clock notes calculator currency converter torch which is probably useful so there you go on the back there's the torch so into the settings You've got the phone set up, you've got GPS settings on here, security settings, sound effects and restore factory settings. Let's just go through some of the sound effects. You've got different audio effects. So you can set the equalizer, 3D surround and things like that just to give you a little bit more uh, oomph if you like from the rear speaker. You've got bass enhancement if you do listen to music uh, on this device go into the profiles and you can uh, set your profiles in the options menu here you can customize it so this is the sort of alert types the ringtones so let's just go into the ringtones So not wanting to stereotype there, but there's some sounds we'd associate more with building sites or tradesmen. 
Um, so that's a quick sort of unboxing and hands-on with the Cat B100. There's not an awful lot uh, about this device to actually show you in terms of the software. The main features and functions are there. The fact is this device is rugged. It lives up to the environments it's going to be uh, used in. It feels solid in the hand. It's a nice size, comfortable. The buttons are soft to the touch, but you know they're going to live up to things. You've got a nice tactile feedback and it looks quite a smart phone uh, and of course the IP67 rating and the uh, drop protection there uh, from six foot is going to be of real benefit. So that's the Cat B100 that's available from clove.co.uk. Thanks for watching.